Hey guys, make sure to stay tuned and we'll explain about common mistake people make when replacing fuses and relays that can end up you spending quite a bit of money on diagnostics to parts that you may not need. Make sure to stay tuned the end. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Explorer that generation here from year 2011 to year 2015. If you have one of those, if you need to find guys where the fuse and the relays for the heads up display, also known as HDU uh, display, fuses, relays, where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way do not waste money and time, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Please make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you guys a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, um, engine lights, transmission lights, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. By the way, check out our YouTube channels. We have guys more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So the HUD display guys, also known as heads up display, fuses and relays, where you can expect to find them. We will demonstrate on this Ford Explorer here. We will work in a fuse box that's not easy to reach. What we guys need to do in our case, open the driver door. Then on the driver's side, you need to guys uh, come here on the driver's side in the footwell compartment, look behind the parking brake panel, up in the dash on the very left side, there is a fuse box. That, that's what the cover looks like. Press these two tabs together, pull that black cover out. You will find the main interior fuse box with a layout like this one here. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so for the head heads up display guys head up display where you can expect to find the fuse and the relay this is the very top row of fuse 1 through 18 that's 19 through 29 here guys and that's fuse number 30 through 39 past that relay that's fuse 33 34 35 that 5 amp fuse, that's the one that you will guys need to check. What about the relay? For that specific system, you don't have a relay. That fuse is known as a relay fuse. That will be the only thing that you need to check. So guys, by the way, you have all kinds of different fuses, relays, circuit breakers, and check under the hood. It's even more complicated, guys. And even you have some special fuses, okay, like this one right here. One time we needed a replacement fuse, we couldn't get one, and we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. We'll recommend to buy some, put them in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience, where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.